Hello, hello, this is Cherie for Just Nailed It. Today on my channel we are going to be reviewing a Mifa Dip Powder System Starter Kit. I purchased this off of Amazon. There will be a current link, which is good for right now, February 2019 on Amazon. Don't know how, good it's long, how long it's good for, because the original one I purchased took you to something else by this company. Anyways, I'm going to get set up. I'll be right back and we are going to review this kit. So please hold on one moment. Okay, we are back with the Mifa Dipping Powder Starter Kit System. You get a clear powder that you dip into first, which I don't understand why, but alright. Then you get three colors to choose from. A super light pink another light pink and then your darker pinkish red um, I have three nails that we are going to do this on I have them buffed I need to wipe them off with a alcohol prep pad and then we are going to start um, truth be told I'll be honest this is my second try at this video when I went to edit it tonight I accidentally deleted it. So this is try number two. Hopefully this will not be another 30 minute long video. So you have your base, your activator, your gel top coat, and a brush saver to clean your brushes in between so you don't get pigments, the powders all over your brushes. On our first nail, I'm going to go in with the base. You take the base, you dip it into the clear. And if you dip into the clear, you apply the base again and dip into your color. So I'm going to apply this evenly all over the nail. And we're still going to cap the ends. I am going to dip into the clear powder. Take that out, tap it off. You have to let it sit for 30 seconds. So Like how it's looking so far. Seems level, no dents, no dings. We are applying the base again and we are going to dip into the color. This is the lightest pink. And take out, tap off for a while. Let this dry for 30 seconds. This powder seems to get all over the containers, the pods that they're in. Just beware, buyer, beware, whatever. I have my brush and the brush saver. Dip it back into the base. Put another coat on of the base onto the nail. Put my brush back into the saver. Whoops. Sorry if I've been out of frame. Dip back into the powder. Pull this out slowly. Tap off again. That's twice we've dipped into that. This is what we've got so far.
At this step now, you apply your activator. You're supposed to let this dry for 30 seconds. Dip into the activator. Once that dries, you file. Get your file. You nail file out. This is like, um, this is 180. This should be like 300 grit. This I haven't used for anything yet. Okay, I've applied the activator off camera, of course. Let this sit and harden. And then we will file away. Then our next nail, said nail, we will dip into medium pink. Hmm. So far I like the system. Oh, I see a little mark there. Hopefully that will come out during filing. Seems to be dry. We are now going to take our file. Lightly buff your nail, smooth out any of the, you know, bumps you may have. I don't think there was any. I did wipe it with a brush. And this is where you put your top coat on. This is a gel top coat. You do not need to cure it. Mm. Too many brushes and only one bottle of brush saver. And this looks very well covered. So we're going to put this one off to the side to dry. We are going to take our second nail. Take your base and apply it. Try to get even strokes for your best coverage. Dip into the clear powder. Mm. Take it out, tap it off, wait for 30 seconds, and you apply the base again and dip into your color. It's a fairly easy system. This is just the white powder, white clear powder as they call it. This is our medium pink. That's so what we're going to be using for this. This little experiment of ours. Take your base again. Cover the entire nail. Dip into your color. Let that sit there for just a few seconds. I don't know if that makes any difference how long you let it sit. If you let it sit at all, I don't know. Okay. 
Things that looks real well, looks real nice. We have to let that dry for 30 seconds. And then we will reapply our base and dip back into the color. This is their medium pink. None of the um powders are labeled. They all say zero two on them. Mifa zero two dip powder and they are ten grams. Apply nice even strokes. I can't get it in the hole. Get back in so you get full coverage. Pull out and tap off. I like how this looks. Nice and smooth, nice even coverage. What do you think? I like it. So far so good. I don't remember how many times I have dipped into the powder on this one. Hmm. I don't remember how many times. I wish somebody could holler out to me and say you've dipped once or you've dipped twice because I don't remember. So on that note, since I don't remember, we're going to do it again. Just in case. And if I've dipped twice already, well then I guess we're dipping a third time. If I haven't, then we're good. <laughs> Take it out. Tap off really well. Mm. I'm going to pause this for just a second and I will be right back okay we're back i to take a little break there for just a second pause the camera Put my activator on now. Make sure you get nice even coverage with this. That the whole nail is covered. So it will all harden accordingly. There we go. Now you let this sit for 30 seconds and then you apply your, uh, oh no, you let 30 seconds and then you buff and file. Buff and file. Sorry about that. When this is drying, I'm going to take my third nail I'm going to apply the base on here just to save some time. And I'm going to, oh, sorry for hitting the camera. 
I'm going to dip into my clear powder hear that it's hard okay you know what is done take this nail out tap we are finished with that one we are going to be using this darker pink slightly red but we're going to set that back off to the side so it's time to lightly file and buff your nail This is where you file out any imperfections you may have in the nail until you feel it is nice and smooth. You may want to get a brush, brush this off real well so you can take a look. It is smooth, I will say that, but Sorry, yes, you can hear me finally off camera. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to now apply my top coat. Cap the end of your nail. And there we go. This is our second nail. Here's our first, just to compare the two, there is a slight color difference, well, hope you can, it, to look through the camera, there's only a slight color difference, hopefully you can see the color difference, because it is more than slight at this stage, so I'm going to set these two off to the side again, and we are on our third nail, we are using the darker color, we are applying our base here, and then going to dip in, Make sure this is applied evenly on the nail. Or it will not, the powder will not apply evenly on the nail itself if your base isn't even. Sorry about that, I had to itch the old chin. This is our last and final dipping color powder, powder dipping color. Please excuse my stumbling over words. It is really, really late at night, and I wanted to get this video done and up for you in the morning. So I'd be a little bit tired. Okay, let's just try. Ooh, we got some wrinkling going on. Do you see it? Mmm. That wasn't a good application. Not at all. You can slightly pat it down, I see. Because it is wet. But you gotta be very careful. Very careful. We have to let this sit and dry for 30 seconds. You can see the color difference in it slightly where I've touched it, I think. Right there. Hmm. 
me up. I don't like that area there, how it turned out. Playing our base one more time, last and final time, then we're going to dip back in. Yep, the end. Sorry, oh shoot. Sorry about that. We have some major wobbling going on, don't we? There we go. Yeah, the wrinkling is probably from my application putting it in. It's not due to the powder, it's due to the application. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> So as you go at this stage now, you may want to start closing things up as you go along. Because we are finished with all our powders, except we got this dipping going on here. But we are done with the first bottle. Or the color, we are done with the second. And I am wiping each one of these off with my fat brush here. Because they are like covered in, in powder. And I don't want that transferred over to the case that they came in. So let's see here. Oh yeah, it's even worse here now. See that? That will come off during filing. Yeah, sit there and let that dry for a minute. Sorry for the dead silence. I'm over here wiping things down. Got to put them away. Got to clean up. And these powders, especially that clear powder, beware when you open that. Maybe it's just me. But it gets all over. There's a messy one. Okay, I'm going to now put my activator on. Yeah, that's definitely got a ridge. That will hopefully come out during buff and file. Sorry if I'm casting a shadow. Okay, I'll put that brush in the brush saver. I was in between, you know, doing my things, putting the brushes in the brush saver to clean them. You don't want to have, you know, cross-contamination. So you want to do that as we go along. Keep your stuff clean. Don't contaminate. So we're going to sit there with it dry for just a little bit longer and then we are going to buff and file and put a top coat on. We are almost at the end of our video. This is our last color. It is probably not showing up true to color on film because it's like, I'm trying to compare it to something. This is like a darker pink. So is this just a different shade of? That's pink too, but you can't tell. It's a pretty shade. It really is. And I'm going to start to buff and file now. Ooh, our nail has come off our peg. You don't want that. See, you might want to hold on when you're doing the sides here. So you have some stability.
Make sure this is on secure. Hmm. The nail doesn't want to hold down with as hard as I'm filing. But we do need to get rid of this ridge. I'm sorry I can't hold it correctly on camera. Plus it wants to come off. I'm going to pause the camera right now so I can fix this. Alright, we are back. I am finally off camera to get this ridge down that I have, and it is a ridge. And if you get that like I do, and it's, it was really sticking up, and to, to smooth it out, you want to use the grittier side of the file, the more abrasive side, than the softer, which you normally would use. But that's what's taking it down. So, we are finished with that. Put it back on our peg and I'm going to apply wait a minute. Whoops. Gonna apply this back onto the peg again. Hopefully it's gonna hold ouch. Purple tunnel wants to act up. Okay, so, I've done a bit of filing, as you can see. I'm going to apply my top coat now. Make sure you apply this evenly. Get at the end of your nail. And let it sit and dry. Sorry for sticking my hand there. This is like massive glue, so be careful you don't get the sign you, and if you do, you might want to get some acetone out. Give your hands a quick little clean up. Cause that is like glue. Take it, clean up your area. This leaf have been messy. Messy, messy, messy. But we are coming, as you can see, to the end of our video. We have reviewed. We have checked it out. I've made a mess. So let's take our nails and check them out. That is our darkest pink, our medium pink, and the lightest. I think this turned out really well. I do give this two thumbs up, five star rating. Um, I did make a mess of things though. I had a ridge, had some ripples, which was my application. So watch what you do. Watch how you dip your finger down into it. It's like you should do it probably like at a 45 degree angle, I'm assuming. So you might have to work on that one practice. With the top coat, it is really glossy looking. It is not sticky in any way, shape, or form. I can't touch that one yet because I don't know if it's dry. But they dry hard, as you can hear. I mean, I, I think they're beautiful. I really do. I like this system. I give it a two thumbs up. In the description box, like I said, will be the link. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the system. Um, even though I had the hiccups that I did. Let me know. You know, like I said down in the comments down below. Let me know. Is this something you would ever think of purchasing? Have you ever experienced it potters before? So let me know. This is my second time, which I should say third because I've already filmed this once with this system. I accidentally deleted it. So yeah. Um, this is your first time here. Welcome. Hope to see or hear from you again. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you were here. Please subscribe. And thank you to all. Have a blessed day. Thanks for being here. Bye.